So, um, we are, this is um, Pete Stelling, not Sterling. A lot of people think <laughs> it's Sterling, it's not. Um, and we are on our bicycle tour. That's one bicycle, that's the other bicycle. We were taking a break, we were um, depositing some um, fluid like, deposits, yeah, water. Some liquid waste yes. from our bodies. Um, and we stopped. Uh, uh, we're doing this as a fundraiser for Animax, that's why we're on the Animax. Um, Facebook page right now. Um, I'm, I think that Random Acts is going to regret having let me gain access to their page, but in the meantime, we have this interesting thing. So, uh, Pete is a geologist, and so as we're riding, um, I, I am learning about the geology of Western Washington, which has been fascinating um, for me. It's, uh, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, we have seen many things along the way, but now we're, we stop, we're stopped because um, we saw these pipes right here. And what are those pipes? So those pipes were near the British Petroleum uh, oil refinery, so where they re uh, refine the crude oil. And those pipes were really close to the coast right here. So the, the coast is just right on the horizon. And that's where ships come in and bring a bunch of crude oil from Alaska. Uh, and so the oil gets brought up there, it gets piped over to the refinery where they heat it up and process it and turn it into plastics. and and gasoline and wax and all the other stuff that makes our society run. Um, but what's interesting is that the refinery, uh, the oil that is coming to it can only come from Alaska um, or uh, the from very, very uh, oil that has really, really similar chemistry because um, each oil reservoir where they're pulling the oil out of the ground that has a, that oil has a unique chemistry and you have to have a, a refinery specifically designed to process the oil from that one spot. Um, so once the oil runs out in Alaska, uh, this refinery is going to have to be totally overhauled to accept oil from somewhere else. So it's kind of interesting to see all of this crude oil coming through the, the pipes. You can't see it running through the pipes. Um, but you can imagine it. You can, yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, this is a big chunk of, of uh, what keeps Western Washington going um, and where we get a lot of our uh, uh, gasoline from and a lot of the other plastics. I never stuff. realized that there was this interconnected web. So all of the, uh, the, the crude oil comes down from Alaska and it can only, that crude oil, or this, this refinery here can only process that oil that's yeah. from Alaska, if they tried to take oil that was from the Gulf states or something, yeah. it it's, wouldn't work because it's yep. got different stuff in it. Exactly. That's amazing. Yeah. So these guys, this refinery really does not want them to close down the you know yeah. oil pumping from Alaska because right, exactly. they will be screwed if yes. that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has a lot more impact than just closing down that pipeline in, that in Alaska. That is fascinating. How yeah. interesting. Um, where where are we heading now? What is the next uh, so geologic feature? We're going to head out to the coast, and we're going to be riding uh, along the the edge of the bluff there, and we're going to go to Birch Bay, um, and then ride along the edge of Birch Bay. We'll see some cool uh, coastal geology there, um, and some kind of tidal flats, um, and it's a really great play spot in the summertime, um, where you can go out and wade in the really warm water. And it's one of the few places in Washington where you can get to warm seawater. Uh -huh. um, and then uh, from there, we're going to head up to the Canadian border and just cruise straight across the Canadian, or uh, not across the border, but we're going to parallel the Canadian border for about uh, 20 miles or so. Cool. Yeah. Um, we went up last summer. We went up to Birch Bay with cool. the kids, and we dug uh, we dug clams. Oh, nice. in the in the mud flats, yeah. and it was fun. And some of the clams were pretty good size. Cool. My son uh, used one of them as a projectile to hit my daughter in the face and oh, good. give her a little welt on her forehead, okay. which, is, which is cool. Okay. Yeah. As uh, brothers uh, so are supposed to do. Fond yeah. memories, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, we could do that when we get out there. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. perfect. We'll um, just see who's the kid who gets the welt. <laughs> right. um, all right. Cool. Bye. Little. That's your, your little geology tour slice. <laughs> Bye, guys.